Part 1. The ooze is my unexpected home. I slip into the day as into swish silk, up before anyone, digging out morning's moist newness like potatoes, green, prickling, my nose sharp as thorn. I head down the slope. Hop. Down by the apple trees, down by the apple trees. Skip. The water is plated, a table set for tea. One little white teacup for you, my dear. A trembling, almost transparent slice of angel cake. Icy green slink. Oh, why did you? Fugitive flurry, rattlesnake breath. How roomy here, in this black heart. Part two, Louis Limpopo laments. Like an oiled clarinet, a bouncy bassoon with corked cork on his back, a sulky slider of green treacle, slow with a slow gin kick, all from one lung. Through desert and forest he's hippopotamusy, has one ancient, urgent push to carry me home. Fever trees make a low chariot. Ain't gonna study war no more. Part three. Sheila Shannon shoulders the cross. She batters rocks like crockery, brims. From overhead, the familiar home tug gets you from all angles, you see she trails a mane of porter black with its froth and gullies of ginger jellied air. What did they all want? My sorrows drowned. It's goodbye, Mersheen Durkin, going to lay down my burden, down by, down by, pulling up through bog and moor, potato land, gliding by strange new settlements, shiny acre gardens, old hurt. Work away now, work away. These rocks seep secrets, rough words into the night. Someone who oughtn't to be there lies. Something wrapped in a cloth entrusted to the emerald stream. Part four, Mr. Derwent. How do you do, my rushing gent? Tawny cat, whiskers bristling, up at Alden, busy about a northern agenda, along steep corridors, 10,000 items to see to, circling the scree, and sparing a word to court the lady scar. Debrief at Hathersage, healing rush down through Matlock, thick oak valleys. You tried to hold it back, but you break out with such a brown surge. Whip, slap, mutate, flower into cotton and silk. I follow in my head. On, on through rock and lime and moor, always forward with canny grit. Brief circuits, but blunt as a tongue. The wind confounds you at Ambergate. I spent two years trailing you, then wonder where you went. Part 5. Gav Dupont, Lord. One leap down from the snows, and she pauses the tune to pass the shrine. Roomy, watery place, milk green with the sun on it, rising, full of lace, October fire bombing the trees. So cold, the shock of contact, mother's blue obliterates thought. Baby's legs working, treading air in a jig of anticipation, little life held close, nut heart refixing itself to the tree, held hard, one flow. Now nothing new will ever be the same again, 